is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, a comparisons. Three golf polo I picked up at Dick's Sporting Goods, Under Armour, Adidas, Walter Hagen. Each of these shirts is the exact same material, similar style, and similar in price, $55 and $60 respectively. Let's go ahead and see what features each of these shirts offers and try them on to see how well they fit. So shopping for these shirts, a couple of things I wanted to point out was that it's kind of inconsistent what you get in store versus what you get online. So in store, looking at the Adidas shirt, looking at the tag, it comes with this technology called Aero Ready, which is 100% recycled polyester. All of these shirts are 100% polyester. The Under Armour shirt is like 96% polyester. But here is the strange difference. The Adidas does not advertise UPF, which you will notice the Under Armour has a UPF rating of 40. So both are polyester, but for some reason, the Under Armour has a rating of 40, and the Adidas does not have a rating at all, just a moisture wicking rating. So each of these shirts is moisture wicking, but for some reason, only the Under Armour has a UPF rating of 40, and you'll see that the Walter Hagen shirt next also has a UPF rating, but why not the Adidas? So another thing I wanted to point out was the features on Dick Sporting Goods website are different. As you see, UPF 30 on Dick Sporting Goods website for the Under Armour shirt says UPF 40 on the tag in store. So don't be confused by these things. Not sure why they change them, why they're different, but just something to look out for is that what it says on the tag in store is most likely different what it says on DickSportingGoods.com. And last but not least, the best of both worlds, if you want the guarantee of being moisture wicking and UPF, go with the Walter Hagen, which as you'll see on Dick Sporting Goods website has UPF rating of 25 plus, even though on the tag it says UPF 15. So again, a couple of inconsistencies between the website and what you get in store and why the Adidas doesn't offer UPF when it is polyester just like the other shirts but the Walter Hagen also has a UPF rating but more on that in a moment just wanted to show you the similarities and the differences between each shirt and how to shop for them online and in store and what to expect Okay, so now that we've tried each shirt on, let's talk about how each of them differs in the way they fit. Let's start with the Walter Hagen. It's an extra large, as a 6'1", 200 pound individual, this shirt fit great. It looked thin and trim and athletic, or at least it felt that way. I think it looked that way. It's an extra large, fits true to size. Golf shirts tend to run big normally, and this one is no exception. It's long in the tail, has long sleeves, and feels overall bigger than an extra large t-shirt for comparison's sake, simply due to the fact when golfing, you're swinging, you need the extra room to maneuver. So what's good to see here is it fits exactly like you would expect a golf shirt to fit. It's big and it's loose feeling, and the 100% polyester does keep you dry, it keeps you warmer feeling. If you're looking for a big, loose fitting, traditional classic style golf shirt, look no further than the Essentials Golf Polo by Walter Hagen, but maybe spruce it up or, or change it up a bit with the Adidas Drive Polo. This one fits exactly like the Walter Hagen, but looks a little bit smaller. It doesn't fit that way. And you can see when I extend my arms that the sleeves are really the exact same length 
The tail of the shirt is the exact same length, so no worries swinging the shirt coming untucked. But change it up a bit, like I said, with the style. This shirt is styled differently. The collar, the lapel, the way that it's structured are all different than the Walter Hagen. It appears smaller, but in reality, it's just as big. And last but not least is the Under Armour Playoff Polo. Dick Sporting Goods is the biggest, best selection for Under Armour. Under Armour, even though not a Dick Sporting Goods brand, is directly affiliated with Dick Sporting Goods. Looking for Under Armour, Dick Sporting Goods is 99% of the time the best place to go to get Under Armour. Of course, Dick Sporting Goods sells other brands, but Under Armour is given an emphasis. And finding shirts that are as nice as this to play golf in at Dick Sporting Goods is easy. So, what I like about this Under Armour shirt is it fits just like you would expect a golf shirt to fit. Like, it's that classic, lanky spacious feel of course giving you room to maneuver it's moisture wicking but this one actually has the highest upf rating of 40 we saw that on the front and that i think is in large part due to it being just a bit larger than the walter hagen and of course the adidas this is the biggest feeling fitting shirt but i think it mainly has to do with the color of the shirt being white so best color to get to block the sun's harmful rays is this one right here, white with the black stripes. If they have an all white one or maybe a lighter color, the Adidas doesn't get a UPF rating and that's because it's a black shirt. It absorbs the light. This one reflects it. It is the most reflective one here. So it fits true to size. It's that classic lanky, roomy, spacious feel you get wearing a golf shirt. And it's Under Armour, which is difficult to find in other stores and has the highest UPF rating. Overall, it's a loose fitting, moisture wicking, uh, UPF blocking golf shirt. So anyways guys, that has been a first impressions, a comparisons, an overview, a try on. In conclusion, to get the best of both worlds, the moisture wicking and the UPF, go with the Walter Hagen. It's the classic style, fitting, loose fit golf shirt. It's long in the tail, it's spacious in the shoulders and the arms and the armpits. It's got long sleeves. It's great for maneuvering in, swinging a golf club, playing golf in but could also be worn out. I think it's a handsome shirt. Second is the playoff polo by Under Armour. Exactly the same fit as the Walter Hagen, but with a higher UPF rating of 40. That I think mainly has to do with the color, but overall the exact same fit. It's long in the sleeves, it has a long tail, plenty of room for maneuvering. And Dick Sporting Goods is the best place to go for Under Armour. If you want Under Armour, either an outlet store or Dick Sporting Goods, I got this at Dick Sporting Goods. It's a very nice looking shirt. Will not be able to find this anywhere else. And last, but not least, is our Adidas Drive Polo. Even though it looks or maybe appears smaller due to the fact it's got just a different structure to the lapel, the collar, and the sleeves, the sleeves do look shorter. It fits just as big and loose and long as the other two should be the best at moisture wicking. But keep in mind, no UPF rating, probably due to the fact of the color black, which absorbs light instead of reflecting it. Anyways guys, my name is John. I really hope you've enjoyed that first impressions, try on comparisons. 
a couple of inconsistencies between what you find in store and what you find online, but I showed you that today. Each link for each shirt will be in the description below, so check them out, order them, or see if they sell them at your store. My name is John. Because I picked these up at Dick's Sporting Goods, that makes them a big box good. Today we looked at three golf polo by Walter Hagen, Under Armour, and Adidas, all of which I picked up, like I said, at Dick's Sporting Goods. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment below, hit the bell icon to get notified when I post to YouTube, and share this video with friends and family. Thanks again so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next video.